Hello students, now we have topic Joule's law of heating effect of currents. Joule's law of heating effect of currents, we know that uh, when we use the conductors, okay, conductor means what? The materials which can conduct the electricity, which have a number of free electrons, like as a iron, copper, silver, aluminium, these are the materials that you can use to flow the electricity but do you think that whenever this you use to flow the currents or electricity what you may have noticed that okay due to flow of currents continuous flow of current in the conductors the heat generated in that one okay so suppose that i have here this is the okay battery and which having v volts and now i have connected with a resistors or wire that you can use okay p and q and you can see that whenever the continuous current flows the heat generated okay according to the statements of the joule's law okay he told that okay due to flow of continuous currents the heat will generate but it will depends on some factors so that you can write what is the factors first one is the uh, first is the square of the current second one is the resistance and third one is the how much time is given for that so these are the factors that you can combine okay and we can find out the relation is it clear so according to according according to joules joules law joules law of heating heating effect states states that when when the continuous continuous current current flows through the conductors heat is produce produce which is which which is first okay which is depends first directly directly proportional directly proportional to the square a square of the current flowing that is h directly proportional i square you can put this is the equation first and second you have okay directly directly proportional proportional to the resistance resistance of the conductor that is you can write h directly proportional r you can put this is the second equation okay third one is okay directly directly proportional proportional to the directly proportional to the time taken that is h you can write directly proportional t okay so we have this is the third equations whenever the current flows through the conductors now you can combine these three equations now combining equation 1 2 and third okay we have three question no this year you can combine so you can write here you know that all having the same that is the h so you can write h proportional t i square r t i square r t okay now you can remove or you can write here or h equal to k i square r t where where k is proportional t constant 